Hi, Jaybot here. Um, apologies for the light. I'm having problems with it. It's a combination of my lights in my bedroom and the filter on this bloody webcam. Um, so um, I am trying. I really ought to stop doing videos at night. Anyway, this is um, a rant on Hasbro, basically, because the past weeks and on and off since about September really, well, on and off for most people for ages that they've pissed me off. Um, and it's to do mainly with their reproductions of the G1 figures. Now in a minute you should see a picture of the missile and No, the missile for G1 Jazz that came with the Toys R Us Commemorative Edition Jazz that I've got recently and the missile that came with the Japanese Encore um, Spinster, I think the name is, the Target Master Jazz in other words, it's gold. Now, the black one is the one that Hasbro made, which is not a reproduction of the fucking G1 missile. It's com been completely designed. They've cut the detail on the top, but they've rounded off the rest of it. Whereas on the gold one, um, there's a bit taken out of it, so it's at an angle, a sharper angle on the bottom than it is the top. Um, and I don't know how well you can see it but there's also detail missing off the top of it on the Hasbro one why do they feel the need to do this? and they did it with their version of the um, I think it's Spinster, the Target Master Jazz we'll say same missile, black not chromed like it should be like the original one, same with the weapons why? What's the point? It's meant to be a reproduction of the original. It's not the original. The fact is not... The commemorative series, or at least the cars... I'm not talking about Power Master Prime or anything, because that's... different. Or the Japanese cars, like um, Jazz, the Target Master Jazz because they're taken from the Takara mold, they're, well they are the Takara ones, there's nothing wrong with them, but it's these ones, they're not, they haven't used the original molds, as I pointed out in my prior one, when I found it out, when I tried the G1 weapon, it, in the commemorative prowl, they're reverse engineer mold, it's a new mold made out of the old toy, which means maybe only a few millimetres, it's bigger than the original, which means if you've got any original accessories, they won't work, they won't fit. Why? This is how knockoff Transformers are made. It's Hasbro that has come up with the... Um, method of doing it. It really pisses me off. Whether there's problems with the original moulds, I don't know. With my Jazz, he's loose as fuck. Because of this, the way they've done the mould. Whether some of the bits are from the original mould or what, I don't know, but it is rather loose. I mean, it's okay, it's fine. G1 Jazz. But, it, you know, it's just annoying. It really is. And it's just little things. It's like, uh, over Christmas I got for free, in a three for twelve at Woolworths, a three pack of movie figures. Brawl, um, Cybertron, Cybertron mode, or whatever they call it, Prime, the rock thing. 
and Jaws. Now they came in the box in robot mode. The instructions are for car mode to robot mode. I had to bugger about for ages finding instructions online to transform the bloody things. Why they don't have instruction forms, I don't know. The proper instructions for them, I don't know. It's laziness. It's the same thing with the movie Toyline in general and the universe Toyline in general. Reissue. Really, um. Releasing Cybertron figures. I don't mind that in one line because I haven't got them, but in two lines, two different lines, why? If you're gonna um, reissue them, use old molds, use RID molds, use generation molds, generation 1, generation 2 molds. Make life easier for a lot of people trying to get hold of the old G1 stuff. It's just laziness. It's the same thing with this 25th anniversary Prime. Hang on a minute. I'm going to show you something. This works. That's the box. Now, I'll go into this in my review. The box is a, a bit different. Now, I think by now you know what it looks like the Anniversary Prime, but on the back, I don't know if you can see this, that's not the Anniversary Prime they've got on the back, that's the Japanese fucking reissue. And this is meant to um, the market, um, it's been released to the market, what am I trying to say? And this toy is meant for collectors, it's not been marketed to kids, it's been marketed to collectors. What are you trying to do? Trying to take the piss, we're not that stupid, we can tell the difference between two different reissues of a Transformer. The fact that this one's got the right size missiles and the right size smokestacks says a lot. That honestly, that, that just really annoys me, that does. It's just, it, why do they do it? I don't have too many problems with reprints, repaints if it's it's necessary. There's too many in the movie line. Um, I've got a, the universe reprints. I think have come out repaints have come out too quick. No sooner have they got Silver Bolt and um, 